up? Um, I am Bevan and um, from CB Reviews and today's topic is concerning the, um, the fact that Washington State banned um, the commercial use of CBD in food and beverages and for me I think it's a good thing and I hope you will um, understand my train of thought um, and to see why maybe this is actually a good thing for the community. I think it's a good thing because I look at it from an educational standpoint. If, let's say, you go to um, a coffee shop to get CBD, how do I know as a consumer that a person selling me the CBD um, latte knows what that CBD product is? So, is that um, barista educated on um, the CBD isolate affect those of us who are on pills like warfarin, Paxil, um, and statins that you know that CBD isolate can affect our cytochrome P450 enzyme system where it prevents the, the drugs from using its full potential. Then is that barista also properly trained on what full spectrum, what's broad spectrum, what's isolate? Uh, do that company knows where that source of um, CBD is coming from? These are things that needs to be asked. Also, is that dosage the actually correct dose? Maybe they say it's 25 milligrams when it's actually maybe 15 because of the bottle or the amount of drops they put in there. So there's a lot of things that are unknown and the stores need to be educated properly on this. Um, there's no control. You, you may um, create food and edibles, but there's no way to test if, in fact, this is actually a monk on there. You also do not know if the end product is actually free of pesticides, you know, mycotoxins. We don't know what kind of environment the, the food is processed in. So this is why it's important to really, really know where everything has come from. And with, it's so prevalent right now, with, especially with like companies like Diamond CBD and um, where the synthetics being used, how do we know where the, the CBD that the, the, the store is using comes from? This, so these are very important questions. And this is why I think it's a good thing. Because you don't want any and everybody, every store just adding CBD to product just to sell it. Because as, you, as I've seen, just driving, you see all the signs, we sell CBD here. But are those still properly trained to really educate not only the, um, the employees, but also the consumers who will eventually have questions. And then finally, God forbid that a customer gets sick of a CBD product that's contaminated. Now you end up with a lawsuit um, because of that. So you really want to know where the product comes from. And this is the reason why I think this is a really good thing. And this is why it's important for us to get some sort of regulations I'm not calling for full-on regulations, but we need some sort of guidelines to say this is what's proper, this is the proper testing. Um, because at the end of the day, health is wealth. And I want to be sure that if I'm going to a store to buy a CBD latte that is clean CBD, you know, the barista know exactly what they're doing. And if I have a question, they will be able to um, answer it. Um, that's my thought. Um, what about yours? Please leave me, let me know in the comment. Please don't forget to um, subscribe um, to our YouTube channel, um, follow us on Instagram, continue to support us, and um, turn notifications on so that you can see whenever we drop new videos. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for those of you who've been buying our shirts um, for our nonprofit, our 501c3 um, B plant. Please visit bplant.org to uh, purchase a shirt. Um, I'll click the link in our bio. Um, we appreciate you so, so much. Have a beautiful day and please, please, please um, take your CBD.